Blakely with Everyday Gourmet. So I love a good side dish recipe that's easy, you can make just in a few minutes, and it's healthy and has a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna show you an awesome recipe. I'm gonna show you a quinoa stuffed tomato, and it's gonna be so good, so easy, healthy, delicious, amazing, all kinds of things. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to cut your tomatoes. So you're gonna, so you have a little hole just like that. Get out the juice there a little bit. So what you're gonna do is take a nice vine ripe tomato and just very, with a very sharp knife, cut off the top just like this. Making sure you keep that stem on because it's gonna look really cute when the quinoa's in there and this is all topped on there. So with your knife, just kind of form a little circle here. Kind of point it in because you want to cut that uh, that stem in the middle. There you go. Just whoop, cut it like that. Not bad. Now if you want, you can dig out the insides a little bit more, giving it more room for the quinoa. You want to make sure you don't puncture it though. So let's have a little bowl here. Just kind of get out all those extra seeds. Plus those are mainly just watery anyways. So there's that. I'm gonna do that with the other one as well. Get out those seeds, those pesky seeds. All right, so then you could just throw that away, put it in your compost pile, whatever you want. So then what I did is I have a half a cup of quinoa that I just cooked according to package directions. So to the quinoa, I'm gonna add some goodies in here. I'm gonna add some pesto. Now I'm just using pre-packaged pesto. Sorry, but not sorry. I don't have time. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. Look, add as much as or little as you want. I'm gonna guess about two tablespoons, two, three tablespoons right in here. I'm also gonna add some pine nuts for some crunch. Just like that. I'm gonna add some fresh, beautiful herbs. I'm gonna add some chopped thyme. I want some basil, so I'm gonna chop these up. Gonna add the basil and thyme in there. I'm also gonna do some beautiful parmesan, like a quarter of a cup. Put it in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of red pepper flakes. I'm gonna add some salt, add some pepper. So I'm gonna mix this together. Look at how good this looks. You can just eat this just like this. Perfect. Mmm. So good. I'm also going to do some goat cheese in here. Just a little bit. Don't want to smush it around too much. So I'm just going to kind of break it in there. Just like that. Man, how good is this gonna be? Uh, my oven preheating right now at 350. So my oven's preheating right now, so I'm gonna show you what to do with these little babies. So just take them, after everything's mixed together nicely, stuff them in there. You wanna make sure they're pretty compact. Just like that. Make sure you get all that goodness in there. We kind of want them to be spilling over a little bit. I'm gonna put them in a microwave, or excuse me, oven safe dish here. It's actually my great grandmother's. Can't mess that up. Oops. All right, smush that in there. Just like this. Now this quinoa is enough to make about three or, mm, you could probably get four if you had smaller tomatoes, but I'm just doing two right in here. And then, as if that's not cute enough, Put this right on, put this right on. I'm gonna put this into the oven. I'm gonna let it cook for 
about 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna make sure you don't cook them too much further because then the tomato's just gonna disintegrate almost and that's not what you want. All right, in it goes. So my tomatoes are out of the oven. They are so cute. Ooh, hot, careful. So there you have my quinoa stuffed tomatoes. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe to Everyday Gourmet with Blakely for more delicious recipes and videos. Bye.